After winning the opener, uh, they gave up a lot of points, over 600 points in five games. That's not good. They've got some work to do. But from whence they came, I'll take the right. net season. And I'll take the net season. Uh, you know what makes it look worse is the fact that they won game one the way they did. Mm -hmm. Philadelphia mailed it in. Let's be honest. Watching that series, Philadelphia just was not engaged in game one. The Nets, give them credit, they took advantage, they won the game, and it sent out this false narrative that the Nets can play with them. But when the Sixers were engaged and focused and cared, they were way better. But you look back and say that they blew it. They won that game. They almost won game four. And when Philadelphia had to, they laid the hammer down. And if it had been a sweep and all four games were blowouts, you would say easily as a Nets fan, all right, we just can't play with them. We retool and go at it. But I think that win it hurt, like made a it hurt a little more. Belief that they that they were in this series and just made it hurt twice as much. That's a that's a really a really good point. And you you do you wonder about how many changes come this off season and how many people will learn from this experience going into next year. And also, Michael, here's the question I ask: Do you throw a max contract at Russell, um, or do you? B kind of build this team as your, your foundational player that you have right now is Karis LeVert, who I think may be a better player than Russell or certainly close, and go out and get somebody else. Well, what I would do is I would tell everybody they've got to wait because they have to keep that cap space open so that they could get a max player. And then you have bird rights on all of the players that are already on your roster. So Russell, D'Angelo Russell, is a restricted free agent. So they could say, go shop yourself. Get the best offer you can, and we're going to match it. That's what being a restricted free agent is. He wants a max, which for him would be five years, $158 million. For another team, if he signed with another team, it would be four years, 117 That would be the best-case scenario for the Nets. Somebody offers him four years, 117 they will match. So I think he's a really good player. He is. He's 23 years old. They developed him. It's awfully hard to let him go. Now, you might look at him and say, well... LeBron and Durant, those are max players. He's not a max player. You are what you can get. Yeah. And there will be a team out there that will give him max money. The Lakers gave up on him too soon. The Nets developed him into this all-star. It would be awfully tough to let him go. Of all the players that they have that could leave, he stays, Karis LeVert stays, and then they well, take their chances uh, filling in the rest of the roster. Well, if you think you can replace him with a with a better body then i guess you go for it but do you take the chance in, in letting him go and then not being able to replace him and then miss having him it no. happens all the time you sometimes you give players money more than they're worth just because you can't afford to lose that player i mean how many quarterbacks get more money than they probably deserve because that team doesn't want to have to go out and replace the quarterback they already have right i mean that that's that's the situation here with russell you'll probably have to overpay but if you get the money by not re-signing him and you can't replace him then you're going to be kicking yourself for letting them go. You have I, to know I, you're going to be able to replace them. I just think, and uh, Chris um, Dudley said this yesterday, Jared Dudley said this yesterday, we all want to come back, but we understand we have to wait online. Let the Nets do what they have to do in free agency because you can't chew up cap space by signing people and getting over the cap and then not having that max slot available. So get the max player if you can get it. Maybe you've convinced somebody by the way you played in the season that you had, and then you fill in the blanks. I do think that you keep D'Angelo Russell. Bottom line, you have to. I don't, yeah, I think you do. You're not, you're not going to go out and get a player better than him on the free agent market. No, you're probably and right. By, by not bringing him back, you're not opening. Let, let me put it this way. You're not going to get a player like him for the spot that he reserves on the uh, the payroll. So I think he would be reserved at about $20 million. You're not going to get a player better than him for that. So just wait, have somebody offer him the money, and then match it. Yeah, that's it. That's what you got to do.